Hello and welcome to Brimwood Farm and as you can see it's British summertime which means it's raining uh, although actually I'm quite glad of the rain because I don't take account of yearly fluctuations and things in terms of weather but I do feel like we haven't had a vast amount of rain uh, this spring and this uh, beginning of summer um, and we need things to water all of these vegetables that I've been planting. However, we're not going to be talking about vegetables today, we're going to be talking about chickens because in the summertime it's also a time when flies, lice, fleas, ticks get completely crazy uh, in your chicken coop. So we're going to focus on these guys a little bit. You can see they are completely drenched and they're all hiding out under there. But that's one of the places that we can help deal with these lice. Well, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you'll know that actually my chickens aren't kind of the most efficient in terms of farming. I've got a few uh, disabled hens, like this little hen over here with scraggly feet. I've got some older hens that don't really, really lay. Um, and I've got some tiny, miniature, bedraggled looking hens like her that really don't sort of lay the kind of eggs that you're gonna to want to be selling. So it's kind of a, you know, I do sell the eggs and make a little bit of money, um, but I also just, keep chickens because I love them in all various forms and sizes. We've also got three ducks in here and as you can see there's a back of a guinea fowl there and he's great for keeping the ticks and the flies down. However there are two really important products um, that I buy on a consistent basis uh, to help keep these guys free of um, sort of pests, parasites and also to keep kind of the general fly population down. So a good dust bath is really key uh, to helping keep your birds free of any parasites. I hate using um, chemicals. You can buy um, some spot on um, lice treatments and things, but in the UK they're not actually regulated for, uh, for chicken use, for poultry use. And I just don't really want to put anything that's chemical based onto my birds. I want it to be as natural as possible. Um, so a dust bath is really, really essential. I use a base component of just dry soil. So any soil that comes out of the compost that gets dried, I can go put in here. Soil when I'm cleaning my um, pots and I'm taking off that top layer of dry old soil uh, before I put in the nutrient rich soil for my pot plants. That goes in here um, and old uh, pots as well, plants that have died or tomatoes at the end of the year when you cut, cut them off and you've got the root ball. Again, they go in here and the birds break it up. So. The base is soil, and then, you've probably heard this many times before, um, I use diatomous earth, which is basically the skeletons of tiny little diatoms. And they're really, really sharp, um, but they're in a powder form. And what they do is, when they get on the body of your birds, they will pierce the thin skins of lice, um, and then the lice obviously die. So you can buy it in bulk, and for both the products that I'm going to talk about today, I'm actually going to put descriptions uh, down below so you can actually just go and find out more about them. They're on Amazon, so you can buy them if you wish, but there's more information on the pages about what they can be used for and what they're made of. So this came in a big, a big bag, as you can see, and it is literally just powder. So I'll cut a small hole. And when I say it's sharp, it's sharp to lice. It's not sharp to humans, you can see it's fine. Um, sprinkle it on the top. And what, what will happen is they'll come along, they'll dust bath in this, they'll get this onto their body, they'll get it amongst their feathers um, and it will start to kill off any pests. I also put it in the nest boxes when they go in and lay and um, they obviously then get some on them as well. Now, one word of warning. Lots of people do actually coat their chickens in this. So they'll pick their chickens up and they'll give them a really, really good kind of bath or brush in it. That's great, but be really careful around the eyes and the, in the mouth. Um, a couple of years ago, I was doing the same with one of my cockerels and he obviously got some into his airway. Um, and he now has a permanent sort of rattle. 
and I think that's because some of it got into his lungs and caused some damage. Again, as I say, if it can pierce his skin of lice, then actually internally it could do some damage. So just to make sure if you do are physically dusting your birds, that you take precautions not to get it in their airways and not to get it in their eyes, uh, which is why I tend to use it with dust bathing. Naturally, a chicken, when they dust bathe, are going to close their eyes as they kind of move around underneath, underneath the soil and uh, so they don't get anything in their nose or their mouth or their eyes anyway. Um, so this is the best use for this. Now, that this bag will last me quite a while um, and I'll top this up every so often and I'll go and go to the, uh, the nest boxes as well. Now the other product I use is also a powder and actually I've mentioned this one before as well and it is Stalazen F. Now this is really good for killing off oosts which are little fly eggs um, so if you've got fly issues in your coop this is really good i generally don't use this outside um, it's more expensive than diatomous earth so i don't want it to wash away in rain so i'll be using it in coops um, and nest boxes it's bright pink can i find out how to open this here we go So it's kind of this, this pinky colour. I mean, it also smells really good as well, um, which is a plus. So you, when you uh, skip out all of the mess and stuff from your coops, you can put this down on the floor underneath the bedding. Um, and not only does it appear, appear nice, and it's, you know it's gonna kill off all the fly eggs, but it smells as well. So it's nice, you can kind of, it smells fresh. It smells like you've actually done a good job. Um, so again, a powder. Um, with this, rather than obviously sprinkling it into the um, dust baths, I use a flower pot um, and then I fill this and then I just shake it. And I do that along all the perches. I do that along the floor, especially in moist areas um, where the ducks kind of spill water over or under um, perches where there's more poo and then a little bit in nest boxes as well, and it's really good. Again, I'll put a link to this as well so you can see. You don't have to buy vast, this is an eight kilogram tub, you don't have to buy big tubs like this, you can get it in smaller tubs as well. Um, so, and it lasts ages. So this has probably lasted me a good six, seven months, um, and I've still got most of the, uh, well, a quarter of the bucket left probably. Um, so Stalas and F, really, really good hygiene powder and to keep your coops smelling nice, but also more importantly, to keep all the flies down. So a happy hen has a happy and productive dust bath to keep clean in and to keep her feathers in top notch and also to kill off those little pests. And I definitely prefer using diatomous earth than going for the kind of the insecticide or spot on treatment um, and just using more and more chemicals, which is not what I'm about at all. Um, now I'm gonna go inside and have a couple because it is absolutely pouring down and probably the hens aren't even gonna dust bath today because they're too busy preening away the wetness in their shed. Uh, if you've liked the video, as always, please hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up. If you're on Facebook, come and join us. We're on uh, Broomwood Farms Community Group. But as I said, I'm going to go get dry and have that cup up, so I shall see you very soon. Bye-bye.